Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In this video I'd like to use the MTP RT add-ons for NinjaTrader 7, which is what we're looking at here, to see how the USE minis unfolded yesterday. I want to start off by looking at the automatic setups. These are the setups you can see on the screen here. Um, the STF, which is our color-coded trend indicator, black for flat, blue for uh, uptrend was indicating a flat trend at the beginning of the day so when we had this TS3 buy setup coming in here if I right mouse click over that bar place the analysis on you can see this was a valid trade he would have been taken into a long trade and stopped out for a loss now I thought it's important to show this because um, far too many gurus never show losing trades or show very few losing trades and it's important to understand that losses are good as long as they're kept small and under control and in fact any trading system or trading approach will always have losing trades. This is why we use correct position sizing. Uh, this varies the number of lots, contracts or shares to keep your initial risk small and under control. In this case uh, less than 2% of a sample $20,000 count so risking less than $400 per trade. So this would have been a losing trade and we'd have lost what we call minus 1R. Let's just clear the chart off. Market moves uh, forward a bit further and then we had a TS4 buy setup on a blue STF, a good one for all standard traders to take. Let's place the analysis on and here you can see that the market took you into a long trade, rallied very, very nicely, went straight up to the first target and this is where the position sizing comes in. Remember we again vary our number of lots, contracts or shares to keep our initial risk small and under control. But in this case the profit here was plus 5.2. What does that mean? It means 5.2 times the initial risk or 5.2 R or risk units. So now you can see how important this position sizing is because the first trade we had was only minus 1 R or 1 risk unit. The second trade we have here is plus 5 R or 5 times greater than the loss. And that's what the true um, key to successful trading is, is not necessarily having a high percentage of winning trades, that's extremely difficult to do over time, but when your trades come through, the profits are much, much larger than the losses. And this is what we do at MT Predictor. You can see here a profit of 5.2R, five times greater than the initial risk, is uh, the way to go. So that was on the NQ, so we had a minus 1R loss, then a plus 5.2R profit. There was very little unfolding on the YM, very few, uh, in fact, no trades at all on the YM, on the automatic uh, trades. On the ES, there was uh, a TS4 buy setup at this low here again, which got you long just before the nice sharp rally as well, so that was quite good. I just want to go back uh, in the second part of this video to go back to the NQ, because a lot of you, uh, I dare say, are saying, great place to be buying, which was pretty much the low of the day. I think this was actually the low of the day, but we're within a few ticks of the low of the day. So that was a great place to be buying. And as you can see, you would have had a nice trade off pretty much the low of the day from there. But you obviously missed out on a bit of a rally later on. So were there any other techniques that the more advanced traders among you could have been looking at to try and capture a, a, a move later in the day? Well, yes, there was. So remember, we would have been out of a long trade here at this level here because the STF was weak. When the STF is weak, we come out at the profit target. So let's just take that off and have a look at some of the more advanced uh, MT predictor uh, routines. The, uh, the best one of these, or not say the best one, but the one we'll use in this case is the Elliott Wave uh, routine. You can see if I right mouse click over this high, come down and select Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see you had indication that there was a one, two, three, a strong wave three type uh, a rally. After a wave three rally, you're anticipating a wave four decline. Now I want to show you how you could have uh, anticipated this because if I just place the uh, cursor over this bar here, right mouse click, Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see it did actually find the wave four low at the wave four WPT. But I want to show you how you can do this in advance and that's what uh, uh, MT predictor is all about is anticipating these levels in advance. So let's just place that wave 3 back on. So you want to try and project where any potential wave 4 low is likely to unfold. For this we have our WPT tools which is what we have here. So to project where a wave 4 is going to go you just do two clicks as, an, as indicated uh, by the uh, number of um, items there. So we just do one click at the wave 2 low one click at the wave three high and this was actually been on the chart in advance so if I place a bit of um, 
white space out there in advance there. So this would have been on the chart in advance. So as that wave three high came in and the market was coming down into here, you can see this would have been on the chart in advance ready for you. So as soon as the market came down to this level here, you can say you're at the wave four WPT. Then you could double check that by using the Elliott wave routines, automatic ones, and yes, that would have confirmed that was a wave four low. So from there, you could have then placed a long trade are in around the blue buy setup bar, managed it with the ATR stop, come out on close, and that would have allowed you to um, have a very nice trade to take advantage of the strong rally into the close. Again, position sizing is uh, part of the manual tools as well as the automatic tools. Here again, keeping the initial risk small under control, this time would have been long 11 contracts, the profit on close would have been plus 7R. So it meets our uh, overall criteria of having profits that are much, much larger than initial risks. So in this way, the advanced traders um, among you could have used uh, the Elliott Wave tool to first of all uh, confirm that we were having a Wave 3 swing coming up here, then could have used the WP tool which uh, would have anticipated this support zone in advance. And again, I cannot stress that this enough, that it's important to be able to have these levels on your chart in advance. This could then be confirmed we're again with the Elliott Wave tool coming down to this low to have a long trade set up in and around this blue buy bar. So hopefully this has been a good video to not only show you uh, the automatic setups that came in, but just give you a little glimpse of some of the more advanced tools uh, that are in the software and how you can uncover some advanced trade setups so uh, allow you to make additional trades above and beyond just the automatic routines. And as you can see, this would have allowed you to take a big chunk out of this first rally and then catch the uh, the last rally into the close. So overall, a good day for the MT Predictor tools yesterday.